The other week, Nate Shot went on a rant comparing people like Shotzi and Tarek, but also mainly talking about Shotzi and how insane of a player he is. It's a long conversation, but it comes full circle, and I want you all to listen to this because it's a very interesting comparison to him as a former pro player and now streamer talking about people like Shotzi doing things that he can't even imagine himself doing. It's like the most premium gas, but also so cool to see someone like Nade Shot giving these kind of props to Shotzi. Should I tell you guys a very glazing story that the COD community is going to love? I mean, I don't know why I'm feeling self-conscious about yapping so much. I'm a live streamer. That's what you're supposed to do. But I'm, all right, I'm fucking, I'm going to yap. I'm pulling the trigger. Okay. So sometimes like I'll be in the living room and if it's like the middle of the day and Haley's busy, she's still got things she needs to do for Gracie. Like we're not ready for us to watch a show together yet. We're not ready to give that show the attention it deserves. I'll just throw something up on the TV uh, for me to watch. And sometimes it's Twitch streams. Like, I don't watch a lot of Twitch streams on my computer. Um, so the living room is a great time for me to wind down after the stream, get on Twitter, relax. Haley doesn't care what's on, so I'll, I'll fire up a Twitch stream. And yesterday, yesterday I did that. And I turned on Shotzi. Okay. I was watching him play ranked after his CDL match win yesterday, game five versus Boston Breach. And I watched him for about 10 minutes. And he was on this high rise. I think he was playing high rise control, just solo queuing. Right? And this guy was using a rival nine. And some of the shots that I saw this guy hitting. Look. Here's how I explain it to my wife. I'm like, honey, there was a time for a long period where, you know, I don't think I was ever like a top 10 player in the game, but I was a top 25 professional player in my era. And you can agree with that or not. I don't give a fuck. I know that. I believe that. That's how I stand on this business. So when I was in my Valorant degen weeks and months of gaming Haley was very invested in my rank and the progress that i would make every single day i'd tell her like oh honey i finally hit a mortal today oh honey i'm a couple games off of mortal 2 whatever and she actually would listen and it meant a lot to me so when i was playing valorant in the same way that i was watching shotzi on apple tv last night in the living room i would have Terra stream up a lot because although Sometimes I hate Tarek. Not only is like he a very good streamer, he's very funny, but he is so fucking good at Valorant. Like watching him play Jet is just it's a work of art, man. It's it's fucking an, an incredible experience to watch. He's just so fucking mechanically gifted. And I hate that. I hate that I have to admit that, but he is. And I told her, I'm like, honey, so like the reason why I love watching people like Tarek and the reason why I love watching Valorant stream so much is because these players can just do things that I wish I could do. I wish so badly I could be this good. Just their movement, their aim, everything that you see happening on screen, honey. I wish I could do this. Because I'm definitely not playing at a professional level, but I'm above average, honey, in comparison to other people that play Valorant. You know, I'm Immortal 2 right now. 120 SR or RR, I feel pretty good. I'm not the best, but I'm better than most. So the gap between me and pro players and Val, pretty big, but closer than most. But when I watch Call of Duty, I'm like, most things that you see, I can do. Like if we're watching Shotzi play, this guy is so fucking good. At a certain point in my career, I might not be mechanically as good as him, but I was good enough to play at the level he's playing at right now. And the reason why I told you this entire story about Valorant is because I can watch anybody stream Call of Duty and I know the things that they're doing for the most part, I can probably do. But watching this motherfucker Shotzi on high rise control yesterday with him using a sub, using a rival nine, there was this sequence where he jumped up from their pit. We were, he was on offense. He jumped up from their pit got a two-piece on B control, jumped back out, did a crazy jump spot to get onto the right side of the top generators above B, 
jump to the left side of the generators, there was somebody at his B step, so towards his spawn. Bro, this guy goes flying off, snaps with this rival onto this guy who's cross map and kills this motherfucker in five bullets. Bro, I've never seen somebody do something with a rival like he just did. And I told her, I'm like, honey, I finally, I finally realized like, oh my God, there is no way, even if I believe that I could be good enough, if I grinded for like the next six months to be like play in the CDL, I would never do that. But like, hypothetically speaking, watching that motherfucker Shotzi do that, I was like, thank God I was playing against plumbers and janitors in my era because it was legitimately ridiculous. Like, watching him, watching Scump, watching LaRue, like, their aim, really, their raw aim ability is 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 actually insane. Shotzi, I gotta tip it, bro. Your, your stream's actually super fun to watch. And, you know, like, if I had to give advice to Shotzi, I'd be like, yo, stop fucking competing and just start streaming full-time. Fuck it, bro, you're too good. Blow up on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna say the opposite of that. Don't fucking stream ever again. Because if you're streaming every day, I'm out of a fucking job. I mean, it was so satisfying to watch. I legitimately, like... I, I, I think the biggest thing for me is that I'll have spurts throughout the day where my aim is on par with a pro player. Like, I can aim like a pro player. A handful of games throughout the day. And then other games, it's just kind of mid. And we get trolly, and we're not taking it too seriously. Whatever. I think the one thing that I need to get better at, which will just come back with time again is that I never really grinded this new era of COD. Like, I played Warzone 1 for a little bit, a couple months. Then I came back and played Modern Warfare 2 pubs and ranked for a little bit with bows, methods, and scomp. Then I played a little bit of Warzone 2. Are we gaming? Seth, nothing would make me happier to open my mouth and welcome all of you. Whatever whatever you want to put in there, brother, it's dealer's choice. I'm ready to go when you are. I'm, I'm down. I'm just sitting here yapping right now. I'm going to wrap this up, boys. I just need like six months with a controller in my hand. And I think my movement will be, and I'll reach the level that I want to reach with my movement. I, I, I think a lot of the problems that I have with like making my game look as fluid as Shotzi's, which I don't know if I'll ever be able to achieve the fluidity he has, but you know, you got to understand he was playing pro Halo, then came and played COD. This guy pretty much seven days a week has had a controller in his hand. You give me six more months couple more months maybe not even six with a controller and i'm gonna look real fucking good i have my pop-off games like i know i understand the game i know how to play it i just need to get my movement right because i feel i still feel a little clunky with a controller and my favorite part like i was like leaning in during this i was like this is some real good gas especially for someone like Tark, who i mean hey i, I know that Tark is very good at valorant but comparing Tark and valorant to shotzi and call of duty does not seem like the rifle comparison like Tark is my cs goat all right i'm an na fan for life i will never forget that major and so that's why i prefer Tark playing counter-strike but for him to say those things and to end it on him being like yo shotzi i I would normally tell you to pursue streaming and content because you will kill the game and he certainly will when that time does come but he's like hey dude stay competing because i'll be out of a job if you ever become a streamer and if you guys haven't noticed a lot of call of duty people have been retiring so it is becoming a bit more saturated but they're all doing very well high sub counts nate shot included by the way uh they're doing great they're doing just fine but i love when streamers and now co-owners of esports teams are giving compliments to other current pro players it's always interesting to know like nade shot who was a very good player back in his day and still is a very competitive streamer at just about any fps he touches he will be a competitive streamer giving the props to someone who is just as cracked as shotzi who has been a multi-champion and pro in different esports he is one of a kind certainly and we won't see many people like him but for nade shot to put it in perspective just how good he is I love this kind of stuff. As always, my DMs are open for these kind of stories because I love reading the comments. I love just hearing this stuff and I want to see Shotzi respond, all right? Shot Shotzi respond with the compliments for Nade Shot or, or Tark or anyone, all right? What do you guys think about this one? Nade Shot, some premium gas for Shotzi and we'll wait to see the day where Shotzi does retire and become a streamer and he might be like the next Shroud or it's Timmy, all right? Like, and I can't wait to cover those stories in the coming years. Till next time, take care. We'll see you guys back here sometime soon. All right. Thanks for being here, guys.